oliescheiks in het Europees voetbal. Ze kopen de ene naar de andere club op. Noem het een speeltje, noem het een statussymbool. Maar daarmee verdwijnt wel vaak de ziel van zo'n club. Wij waren benieuwd hoe ver Nederlandse clubs gaan wanneer hen een zak met geld wordt voorgehouden. En dus creëerden wij onze eigen sheik, Rashid bin Abdul Aziz Al Mazir. Ja, wat doen betaald voetbalclubs als ze in aanraking komen met oneindig veel oliegeld uit het Midden-Oosten? Zweven ze kritiekloos op een roze wolk en gooien ze alle clubtradities overboord? Of controleren ze meteen met welk dubieus figuur ze te maken hebben? Met die vraag in ons achterhoofd deden wij ons de afgelopen weken voor als een ambitieuze sheik uit het Midden-Oosten. We boekten een luxe hotelsuite, huurden acteurs in en nodigden negen clubs uit voor een verkennend gesprek met onze eigen sheik. Vijf daarvan reageerden helemaal niet. Eén club haakte op het laatste moment af na ons via Google te hebben nagetrokken. Blijven over FC Den Bosch, Willem II en Cambuur. Te beginnen bij de Vriezen. Ze kwamen naar onze hotelsuite, maar Cambuur blijkt een betrouwbaar bestuur te hebben. Want niemand is in Leeuwarden groter dan de club. Wat to make it simple, what do you need to change it fast? There are two important things: the stadium and uh, players. The central forward and the, the left winger. The, the quality is not enough at the moment to make more goals. Would there be an opening for you to see their change in the name? No. Uh, to be honest, I don't think the name can be changed. It's the same as the, the, the logo. We, we once tried to change the, the logo. Oh, we almost got uh, killed by the, by the supporters. You don't touch our logo. Of course, uh, when you invest a lot of money, there is a, you have to... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of influence. From you, of course. That is no problem. That's no problem. It, it has to be good for the club. The club is everything. If we, uh, as a director, are um, not good enough for the club or for the situation, we have to leave. Eh? It's that that is also the, the the situation. If the club grows, or we are not the right persons for for uh, for the club, then we should leave. Eh? It's, the club is everything. Dan Willem II. De Tilburgse delegatie deed goed huiswerk en rook meteen al onraad. Nee, ook in Tilburg hoeven ze zich geen zorgen te maken. De clubleiding heeft zijn zaakjes daar goed voor elkaar. Why you you came to uh, to Willem II to our club? We wanted actually a football team that is not playing in the Premier League, because uh, we wanted to establish a dream. Ik ga ask you a personal question. Are you against Tax optimization. No, not about tax optimization. Uh, but, uh, but I think it's, it's important that it's, it's a transparent way of uh, uh, of doing business. If you would play Premier League or maybe with the ambition to play Champions League, can you imagine that a change of a name to a new king? Because I think you have a new king. Your name? No, 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 no. I mean your King Alexander. Uh, I think the history will, will always be uh, so important that we, we, we should keep, we must keep the name of, uh, of, of Willem II. Uh, we, we, we discussed about this uh, years ago. Uh, there was another king, he was called uh, Ralf Imbach. Uh, we also discussed to to give his name to the club, but it must always, always be Willem II. Ja, en dan FC Den Bosch. Want bij de Brabantse club lijkt het fenomeen Google niet te werken. De delegatie die namens de club naar onze hotelsuite werd gestuurd, ging wel heel erg ver voor de oliedollars uit het Midden-Oosten. 
Alle voorwaarden die onze Sheik in ruil voor investeringen stelde, werden zonder meer toegezegd. In een reactie laat FC Den Bos vandaag weten al die tijd het spelletje te hebben meegespeeld. Afijn, oordeelt u zelf hoe medewerkers van FC Den Bos de club volledig in de verkoop doen? We hebben een budget voor uh, approximately 10, 15 jaar of about 40, 50 miljoen. Mm -hmm. That's, that's very good to hear because that's what we're actually looking for. We only have that value. You need a new injection. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we need. Mm -hmm. We need that. that we can bring these players and even maybe good players from, from Dubai or whatever. And I think we need to have a stadium not for 8,000 people, but for 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. yes. That's so important. That's what we said as well. You know, things around the stadium, even shops or whatever, and hotels. And, Or you can give concerts. We'll be out. Uh, We understand. Our biggest dream and <laughs> biggest problem is change. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, looking into the current trainer, mm -hmm. Mr. Kaizen. Kaizen, yes. Personally, he's not my favorite. <laughs> is that something that you understand? I. It's hard for for Ruud Kaizen to get this team right. But also, I think he needs to be a bit stronger. That, that's why I felt as well. Would you replace him if you had have the sources, for example, to get a Petrovic? <laughs> Petro <laughs> Petrovic. <laughs> yes. It's not personal. It's about no, no, it's about mm -hmm. qualities. Mm -hmm. I think that if you go to a high level, you need another kind of coach. So sometimes you have to make changes. If you want to go high with this team, I think nobody will play. Maybe one, maybe, maybe two. That's it. So if there is budget for buying new players, everybody would go out. So. Yeah. The same with the colors. Mm -hmm. I think you played in black and white. We played in black and white and when we, when we started. In that This team. would be something that I would admire to bring back that colors. The white and black, mm -hmm. and to have it, the dragons united. Mm -hmm. The dragons that boss that's something new. It would be great. Mm -hmm. It would be a big change. The official on the on, yeah, it's a, yeah, a big one, a great mm -hmm. one. It's yeah. touch, touch, touchable. Yeah, it's an inspiring name. Yeah, yeah that's it. It is. Yeah, in our companies we have a lot of cash money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have paid some money on the side. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. So when we want to buy players, for example, we might try to give them on the side some money mm -hmm. to come to us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> This is how we can make quick decisions, quick results. Would that be a problem? We will think about it and we won't be negative about it. We still come to a solution. So basically, no issue. You are not against black money. Black money? I'm not against black money. If you can bring it through the right, uh, as we say, pipelines, then there will be uh, a solution. One topic that is also um, considered to be fragile is homosexuality. Can you guarantee me there are no homosexual players in the... <laughs> At this moment I can guarantee you there's no homosexual player in our team. This is something that mm -hmm. could be guaranteed. As long as you, as, as you can keep it inside, you know, that's, that's the main thing. And if it don't get big and huge and media expectations and everything... Well, that's what it. we want to avoid. Um, alcohol consumption. For us it's a big problem, so we want actually to stop it, that they can buy the alcohol in mm -hmm. the stadium. We can forbid it. Yeah. What about women and football? The ladies team, no. 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 You, you're not going to do no. that? No. No ladies dragons. No ladies dragons. No. No. Can men and women sit all together in the stadium? Yeah. yeah. Something that is very common in our culture also is that you have a separate entrance for women mm. and a separate entrance, entrance for men. That's something you could try. Maybe you can 
make it in the statement, especially on um, section for the women where they can also during the game go shopping or something like that. We are very positive, very happy. Okay. Thank you. Ja, FC Den Bosch laat vandaag bij monden van algemeen directeur Fred van der Hoorn weten, dus nooit in de Sjeik te hebben geloofd. Dat is grappig, want ook na onze ontmoeting is er diverse malen contact geweest, maar uit niets blijkt dat de club argwaan rook. Pas toen de president van de Raad van Commissarissen zich een week na de ontmoeting met de zaak ging bemoeien, donderde het bestuur van hun roze wolk af. De volledige mailwisseling tussen FC Den Bosch en de Sjeik vindt u terug op www.poont.tv.